Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs using Canva. So if that's something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to make this design right here. It says free mom hugs and it uses uh, an easy technique of cutting the text to make it look like you've kind of got an echo effect going off of the main text, but it's, it's a pretty simple design. This one uses the colors of the trans flag. Um, Pride month is coming up. It is in June and there are going to be a lot of free mom hug designs, though most of them are the rainbow flag style. So I went ahead and just went with the trans flag. Um, which I don't think has quite as much competition. So if you'd like to learn how to make this design pretty easy, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels because that is the standard t-shirt design for Merch by Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and start with a black backdrop. Um, so I'm gonna click on my image, come to the left-hand corner where it says background color, and I'm going to be selecting black. And then from here, I'm just going to be doing a text design. Now for this text design, I'm going to need to save some words as images um, because I'm gonna have to do some photo effects on the text. So for today's design, we're going to be writing free mom hugs. Um, so I'm just gonna pull up a text box and I'm just gonna go ahead and write in free mom hugs. And so for this one, we're gonna pick a nice big bold text something I can make pretty large. So I'm gonna scroll down. I got a lot, I know which one I'm looking for though. If you don't know which one you're looking for, a narrow text might be good. You can make that one a little bit bigger or typing in bold um, and searching that way. I'm gonna pick this Anton one right here. It's pretty narrow, but it's also thick and bold. So it is a good choice. And then from here, I can go ahead and resize it so that I get it real big straight across the page like that. So that's where I'm starting. And I do think this would look better in all caps. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And right here, there's a big A and a little, little A. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. It's gonna make it all caps for me. So this is what I'm starting with. I'm centering it and so this is where we're starting. So what I'm going to wanna do is save um, three different colors. So I'm gonna do this in the colors of a, the trans flag. There's a lot of um, LGBTQ plus designs that say free mom hugs. There's a lot of them that have more of the rainbow pride flag. So for this one, I'm going to specifically target the trans uh, flag. So it's going to be sort of a white, a pink and a blue. So I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna select a color here. So we're gonna start off with that light pink. So that flag uses a real light pink color, something more like this. Now, if you wanna match the color exactly, you can always go up to elements and find a photo of the, of the trans flag and then use this little eyedropper here to pick a color straight off the flag. So if you wanted to kind of match it exactly, if you're good at eyeballing, this is another good way to do it. So I'm just gonna do this one right here. And now I want this to be an outline. So to make it more of an outline, I'm gonna come up again to effects and there is a hollow effect. And so here's my hollow effect and I can change the thickness. So if I want it to be really thick versus if I want it to be really thin. So you can play with that. I want it to be thick enough to read, but it doesn't necessarily have to be overpowering. Um, so you know, I'll go somewhere in the middle here, something like that looks good. I got it at about a 42, 43 right here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And I'm gonna title this one pink. And I'm gonna hit share, I'm gonna hit download. I'm going to do a transparent background and I'm going to download that one. And we are going to do this two more times because I also want it in white and I also want it in blue. So without changing the size or anything, I'm just gonna change the color. I'm gonna come up here. I'm meant to do my white one. We'll do the white one here. I can retitle it white. 
And again, I can download transparent background and let it download the white one and then we'll make the blue one and we'll go from there. Perfect. And one more time, we're gonna go ahead and pick a nice light blue color. So, something like that, I think is pretty close to the flag color. So that looks good there. So that's gonna be our blue. And so I'm gonna just blue, oops, blue, and download that one. Transparent background, and that one will download. Perfect. Okay. So now that I have this, this is going to be the middle of my flag. So I'm going to have it be white. And for this one, I'm going to make it solid. So we're gonna get rid of the hollow. And so this is gonna be right in the middle. This is solid. This is right where I want it. If I wanna make sure that it doesn't move or change in any way, I can always lock it down to the screen. So if I click on it, over here in the right hand corner, there's something that looks like a little lock. If I click that, it is now going to lock it to the page. You'll see a lock there. And it cannot be moved or edited. So that's one way to make sure that you don't accidentally mess up something. So now I'm going to be using the ones that I downloaded. So on either side of this, I'm going to put another white one. So I can drag and drop if I want to that way. Give it a second. And you'll see it is uploading there. Okay, it's all uploaded. Now I'm gonna crop this in to make it easier to use. I'm only cropping from the tops and the bottoms, but I am not going to crop from the sides because you'll see if I pull it out so that it's the same width as the paper, it should be the same size as the one above. And then we want these all to be the same size. So I'm going to have one here and I can totally duplicate this. I can hit control D, duplicate it, and there is going to now be one here. So this is what we're working with. So what I'm gonna do is make it look like it's getting cut in half. Now I can pull this down, but you'll see this part underneath. You can see through the text where there's lines. So if we want it to look like it's cut in half, we're literally just gonna cut it in half. So from the bottom here, I'm gonna pull it up which you can only do from an image, which is why we had to save it as an image. So I'm gonna pull that up halfway. And I'm gonna do the same thing here from the top. I'm gonna to pull down and I'm gonna pull down about halfway. And then I can take this and slide it right on top. Take this one, slide it right on the bottom. And so now we're starting to get this sort of echoing look with the text. And so now we're just gonna repeat. So the next one we're gonna do is going to be our pink one, I think, pretty sure. Oops, didn't mean to pull that up. We're gonna get our pink and we're just gonna drag and drop. And we're gonna repeat our process. I'm gonna crop from the top and the bottoms, but not from the sides. Okay. And I'm going to resize it so that it is the size of the paper, or the size of our sheet here. Once I get it how I want it, I'm going to control D. So now I got two, and there's going to be one above and one below. And so we're gonna repeat the process. I'm going to crop this down about halfway and I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to crop it up about halfway. And I'm gonna drag it down right on top. And I'm gonna drag this one up. Oops. And if you can't get it to line up perfectly, don't worry, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. It will move it one pixel at a time so you can get it pretty exact. So if you're having trouble with your mouse, that's another way to do it. And then we're just gonna repeat this one more time for the blue. So, oops, pulled it up again, didn't mean to do that. Drag and drop my blue. And repeat the process. This is a pretty quick design. And I'm gonna drag it out, I'm gonna drag it out. Once I have it here, I'm gonna duplicate it, control D. This just makes sure that they are exactly the same size, that I don't mess anything up there. Pull this back down about halfway. Pull this one up about halfway. 
And I'm going to drag this down. Good. And I actually want to bring it up a little bit. Okay. Good. And looks pretty good. So there I have my design, free mom hugs. Now, if I want to position this someplace else in the page, no problem. I'm going to have to unlock this first because I've got it locked down. So to unlock it, no problem. I'll click on it, come up here to where it says unlock. Now it's unlocked. Now all of these can move freely, but I actually want them all grouped together. So to group them all together, I'm just going to click down here in the corner and I'm going to drag up over all of them. So now that they're all highlighted, I can move them all together. So I can bring them all up together. I could resize them together. I could rotate them together. They're all one image until I click away. If I want them to stay one image, I can hit this group thing up here and that will group it together as one. So if I hit group, now it really is all grouped as just one big image. So none of them are gonna get accidentally moved away from the others. I can put this where I want it. I can center it and so right there, is my design. It says free mom hugs and it kind of gives that echoing look where you, uh, you kind of get those cutoffs like that. This is perfect for Pride Month is coming up or you know anything LGBTQ+. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to download this one right here. So I'm going to get rid of the blue. Change the name here. One sec. Delete that. Just free mom hugs. Now we're going to download. I'm going to do a transparent background and that's it. So really easy, simple technique. It can be really fast to use, but it gives kind of a cool look. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.